Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting, October 3rd, 2018 at 7 p.m. in the Deerfield Municipal Offices at 8 Conway Street here in South Deerfield. Uh, this meeting is being recorded. Could I ask you all to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. That's for later. Um, we have some minutes to approve from September 19th. Um, I make a motion that we approve minutes of September 19th. Second. Is there any further discussion? Nope. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, is there a motion? I make a motion for September 26th. Second. Any further discussion? And all those in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Um, we have a hearing or an appearance from Diamond Shine at 715, so I think we're going to have to wait just a little bit. Actually, you know what? It's not a public hearing. It's not a public hearing. But we did post it, so maybe if there are people who want to be yeah, here why don't for we that, just that's your wait. Yeah. Um, Okay. Is that all right with you if you just Since wait yeah, a few more minutes? minutes? Okay. 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 Um, do you want to give your report, or do you would you rather we skip down to other items? What? And, yeah, the others okay. you can get through, I think, okay. in the 15 minutes. Um, so. The lights on the town common for the Deerfield Women's Club. Uh, don't. Well, um, uh, what that is is normally um, we just vote to allow the women's club to work with yeah. Kevin. Ke oh, Kevin and the highway department volunteer their time to work with the women's club to light up the town Great. common. Very good. So um, we just have to say that we are in support of that. Okay. Make a motion to support that. Um, light, uh, the Deerfield Women's Club working with um, the town to light up the common. And I will second that. And I also want to say that it's not um, the the highway department uses their own time. Right. It's right. not paid right. time. Yep. And um, so they volunteer their time. And of course, the women's club are volunteering, and and Ten take minutes. donations to light it up. And I, I just, you know, is lovely. It's lovely to have um, light in the winter time there. So okay. it's I really really appreciate it. I also think they're going to have uh, more deer in Deerfield again this year. Yeah, so good. if anyone wants to put a deer on their ear on their yard and light it up. A lit deer. A lit deer, okay. not a regular deer. Okay. <laughs> no stringing well, them I, up. I do, well, okay, uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Um, policy on sewer abatements. Do you so uh, this is just, we're, I guess, a first reading and to start the discussion, um, we were in the office working on some ideas on um, as I spoke last week on getting a policy together about no abatements at, at you know at this time and um, I just wanted to kind of continue that conversation um, before you, you do have a, a kind of a sample policy uh, to start with and, and discuss and I think part of the discussion is when do we offer abatements and when don't we um, and a couple of you know a couple of the things that jump out are obviously a broken pipe um, where, um, you know, from frozen or something like that and have a plumber come in and fix it and they can, you know, document that, you know, that they had a repair done. Um, we've usually been open to, to those kind of abatements um, and usually um, an inspection by the, you know, wastewater department or something like that has, has looked at it and they've given us information on that. So, um, or, a, you know, a faulty meter, we usually get that you know, from the water department given to the town that there's a problem here and we abate that. Um, one of the questions is, do, you know, do we abate for swimming pools? And I think, and, and again, in the past, it's been a case by case basis. And I, what I'm trying to do is get more of a policy in place. So we, you know, there is no uh, gray line. It's just, you know, right. if, it, if it meets this, this criteria, it has, um, you know, you have, um, I think Diana was working on um, adjusting our um, abatement application so it would have a spot to list the bill you know from the plumber and you know last you know we'd have to decide on a couple years reading so you have a solid thing you know every year it could be different you may have gone to you know France for two three months and so your water usage is low and so it has to be some sort of consistency right. my proposal would be to put a small committee together to look at these things fully and um, and come up with some of this policy and um, where, you know, do, 
right now we don't uh, offer abatements for um, irrigation. You know, I think I would just mention to people that it's pretty wet out there. I think it's safe you could shut off your irrigation for the year. Um, it's it's pretty 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 wet. So um, just trying to find you because I think I believe this is about the time of the year where the water department starts to starts to do the readings. Okay, readings. Um, so um, I just wanted to kind of have you guys think about this and talk about where we want to go here. Do we want to put a small committee together to look at this? You know, if we are going to look at abatements for irrigation, do we um, um, mandate that there's a second meter? And then who reads that meter and at what cost? Um, and who installs the meter, that kind of thing. There's, we've been looking around. I say we, Diana's done a lot of research as well about different towns and what, you know, what they do. And it's all over the place depending on whether you own the water department or not. Right. Or the town uh, has that. Well, along with those lines, I mean, uh, maybe the town or the highway department could buy a small water meter. Uh, when talking about swimming pools that uh, people could attach right to their outside faucet and that would read the meter or read the water going into their pool for, you know, for the the, fill up. The f whether it's two or three days. I know that the water department has a large meter that goes on fire hydrants because there's a few farmers that actually buy water through the hydrant system for their fields. Uh -huh. uh, so if, if someone had a large pool they were going to fill, perhaps they could borrow that meter from the water department. Mm -hmm. um, so to fill it. I, there's a lot of different things. Yeah. Absolutely. And so I, I left a message today for the water department that yeah. I wanted a meeting with the commissioners and um, hopefully Great. they will give a, I'm sure they'll give a ring back and yep. so I just thought we could get a few people together on this and, and, and get this rolling. Um, I, any I, thoughts, had, Carolyn? I had the first time I had seen this was tonight yep. and yep. Um, I asked Trevor a couple of questions about this earlier because um, I mean this is just wonderful that we're writing this down so mm. anything down because Indeed. we've had no policies per right. se. It's, everything yep. was just right. arbitrary you know, not arbitrary, but case by case, and what was, what were you advocating for, and what happened, and mm -hmm. whatever. So, um, but as the water bills and the sewer bills go up, I, I would foresee that we would have more people looking for abatements. And, and before, it was not really that much of an issue. So, um, Trevor, thank you, and mm -hmm. Diana, thank you for mm -hmm. starting this process. And um, like I said, this is the first I've seen of it, but um, I think it would be really good if we could circulate it a little bit and mm -hmm. maybe not have to have put it together a whole committee, but maybe um, circulate it and see what people think. I'm open to anything. I and just, and yeah. have get some feedback on mm -hmm. it and, and try to move this along. But I, I, I would like to meet and thank you again for reaching out reaching to the, out water, the department water department because I think it's important to meet with the water department and just talk about some stuff. Yeah. And yeah. then... How does this policy impact them? Right, exactly. All that I kind want to of make stuff. Sure it so, dovetails nicely with them and their right, operations. Right, because I mean they're doing us the favor of the readings. Absolutely. So, um, not having to take on that expense is huge. Or come up with another whole way right. to, to to charge so for sewer. We I mean. need to coordinate with them somehow. So um, let's circulate we'll keep, this. And, keep rolling along and, with it. Yeah, and have okay. meetings and stuff. And thank you both very much. Mm -hmm. Can I just check in Please. about this issue of circulating it to others? Um, can you put a little more clarity on what you're thinking? Well, if who, anyone is interested, they can long? come in and look at it. We can just have it. Diana can have a oh. copy, you know, a couple copies. And if people are interested, they come look at it. And leave a comment. And, and make comments. Well, we so. know through the calls I'm getting from people what we're going to hear. Mm -hmm. I guess I would just encourage you to make the decision as sewer commissioners. But I think we will. I have we no will. doubt that I'll we make will. a decision. But I think we need to meet with, I don't want to make any decisions until I meet with the water department yeah. right. and talk about how we're coordinating our operations and, you know, does this, right. uh, does anything that we're bringing up, is this going to cause them problems right and and because we're not yeah no I have I'm a not note really familiar to... with what their operation is so um and they're in transition so that could change as yes. well so. and so I think it would be good to meet with them whatever yeah, I, I and I agree I think that so it's good to get a little input replacement. I mean it doesn't mean if we get 40 people and we have 40 different things that we have to implement every aspect mm -hmm. of it but you know somebody might come across a, an idea that uh, would help uh, 
Well, we're also we getting advice from an information yes. from Dave, Dave Prickett. Prickett. It's Correct. all part of the exactly. package. Yep. Absolutely. Right. Speaking yeah. Do you want me to Dave Prickett? Have yeah. Go ahead. Any updates? I do. Yeah. Um, I could take you know a couple of minutes here sure. real quickly. Um, we had a meeting last week, um, and we're continuing. We have another one. I want to get this right when I say it. Well, I know the workshop remember? date. I was going to mention yeah, that. Yeah, that'd be great. The workshop the work is, the, is the uh, 23rd of October, and that's when Dave Prickett will come and his team will come and we'll have the um, what time is sewer, that study, sewer committee? study committee here and we'll get out Six an email. Six o'clock. Um, we also have that's a Tuesday the 23rd? Tuesday the 23rd at 6 o'clock okay. for a workshop. And he'll, he'll present you know, a more refined version of what, he, what we talked about last week. And we'll, we have another meeting next okay. week on the 16th in the morning just to kind of nail down this stuff because we're getting close to kind of deciding on rates. So this information will help with that. Yes. Um, I've got initial stuff on rates, but um, I, do you have well, on I, that? I, the sooner we do that, the better, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so maybe we That'll can put it off another two more weeks, but um, we'll, we'll talk to Barbara. No, we don't. I don't think we have to do the rates uh, before. I mean, after his workshop. I think okay. we could do it okay. next week, maybe. Uh, I don't Are know you when prepared we have to meetings. make a recommendation next week? I think I would be. <laughs> okay. I would be after next Tuesday, maybe. The, but I'd we, want to rate, talk with you guys about that. The rates only need to be set prior to the bills going out. Correct. Right. And I, do we have an anticipated date for that yet, or as soon as possible? That's yes. what I hear from the I, collector's office. Well, so. they'll, they're still getting the readings, right? But they'll be able to put that together pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we can check in with her and see when. Yeah, and then we'll, well have a hearing as well on the rates. Do we have to have a hearing yes. on the rates? Well, I'm trying to remember what we did trying, last year. Well, we have to get to, in my understanding, please correct me if I'm wrong. My understanding is we're, we're trying, we have to reach $15 by what, in two years or something? Two or three. Two or three I think years? three. Three years? We don't. That's, well, that's, kind that's of, preliminary. That's a preliminary kind of. And it of, depends on what you want to put away and how quickly you want to address the issues. Okay. And what so the, I, multiple I feel factors. like we don't have enough information to. to We're not set going anywhere near that. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. But what I'm saying, saying we, don't no, have a, we don't have enough no. information to say, okay, we're going to do no, that's, one. Well, this we're pretty year. close. You, you, right. you think yeah. there is enough information? I think by next, next week, I think we'll have a pretty good okay. idea of a, a good plan that we could lay out and get advice from and talk about it. Well, we just need to be able to talk people. about it because exactly. I actually don't have that much background. I mean, I only have general overview and not. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we're well, let's. Trevor, well, let me, let me talk to Barbara tomorrow about waiting till Perfect. the 24th to do that and what that would mean. Okay. Right. I, what what is, is this? No. Trevor, let me ask you, what is this no, uh, rate of $15 in two oh. years? Oh, so, yes. so right. the, the initial discussions have been, we, we all know we have a ton of work to do on our sewers, and they're in the midst of getting all this data together. And what I have here is, um, is just an initial assessment of our South Deerfield Wastewater Treatment Plant, our old, uh, old Deerfield Wastewater Treatment Plant, all the, all the mechanisms and each individual part that goes into that thing, the whole, I mean, multiple the sheets. Inventory. And it's color-coded by what what's you know what major issues inoperable is red and as you can see when you zip through this thing there is a ton of red yeah. you know uh, the head work I mean that whole page is red so there's headworks problems there's a lot of stuff that they're doing there also is going to be another whole sheet on our collection systems all of our pipes and everything that comes through so and we should have that maybe next week I'm not sure pretty close because they're almost done with it well, last time know we met. What you know, the number yeah. one priority is right is, is the South Deerfield plant. So we also had the financials initial. The initial um, ideas were, um, I mean, we, we all knew and we've heard for years we need $30 million worth of work if we did everything. Um, we obviously aren't going to do that. That's a non starter. But there are areas that we do need to start on the plant. And if you figure, you know, you, you figure if you've got to start getting money in the bank and anticipated to start uh, going out to bid on this stuff in a couple of years after you've done the engineering. You know, maybe engineering this year, um, so you need a good chunk of money for that, which we probably do at town meeting. And then, um, 
and then start laying the groundwork for bids and starting to get, you know, clarify your headworks program, all that stuff figured out, you're talking, you know, upwards, and, and just the South Deerfield plant, you're probably talking nine or, I'm, I'm guessing at numbers, he told them the no. other day, and I didn't write them down, but I'll have more solid things yeah, for you. I don't want to say anything But I mean, you figure, know. you know, $30 million cutting thirds for, you know, each item. You've got, you've got a lot of work. So we need to start setting the rate so that one, we're competitive for going after MassWorks grant and, and other grant options. Probably not MassWorks. What Others. was the other, did he, there was uh, another grant that he talked about. Revolving fund. The, the, the governor the, is putting more money in MassWorks. He, so he, that's it's, a, Possibility. He doesn't didn't see think it as that an, was a it's home really run. it's an eligible project. They they need to be tied to economic development. There was, Those get the pro and they're political. Right. And we got one. We got the River Road project a few years ago. So I know. I so know. there is another the, no, grant federal, that he thinks that federal we're, program. There's um, another grant that he thinks that we're in line. You know, we'd be in good shape right. for if we laid the groundwork, <laughs> did the engineering, got things ready, and, and, and that showed in, that we were incrementalizing, raising our, the sewer rate. So as that well. we were, you know, obviously you have to get to a certain point before we okay. had the problem where we weren't high enough. They were like, well, you're not spending enough, you're not saving right. enough, so what do you need our money for? So that's what we want to kind of set the maintenance of effort. Yeah, and, and look at how much money we're going to have to do. And you're going to have to, and I, you don't want to do it all in like wait three years and do it all at once. So uh, we have gone up a little bit, and that's put us in really good shape. We have a good reserve to run that plant for a full year. We will by, I think, next year. Um, and that, you know, that's a good retained earnings so that you have enough to run that plant for a year. But then if you're going to want any capital, you're going to have to go up a little bit more, and then we have to look at, you know, how we're going to fund it. We talked about, you know, who pays, the users, town, all of that's a big, that. But there's a lot of big in, stuff to deal with. In this report, is it, does it, uh, is there an assumption that the, a $15 rate will pay for it? Or is the assumption that, because if you bond for the, the cost of the project, even if you did it over several years and you have slow increases, mm -hmm. that should pay for it. Because if you take, you know, that even if it was $10 million over, you know, 20 or 30 years, mm -hmm. um, even at the current rate, it would pay yeah, for he that did type some, of he improvement. He crunched some numbers He did that. crunch yeah. some numbers. I mean, you can go all the way up to $35, right? Which is unheard of, not gonna happen. But that would give you, you know, additional, you know, would keep your retained earnings at a million dollars, which is what we, about what it takes to run that plant, both plants and all of our stuff for a year. Um, you'd have additional revenue of 1.8 million uh, but the average residential sewer cost, um, you know, as a percent of um, medium household income is 3.22%, which is high. Um, but to get, you know, we need to get above at least one to even be eligible for any, any rates, uh, any, any grants. So kind of t by based on the chart, around $15 um, gives you, a, you know, average cost for residential users around $850 a year. Um, and that would give you, start to give you about almost $300,000 towards capital. And so you start banking that every year and then going for, for loans. And so we start kind of planning to get there in three years. Um, we need to start moving now to do that. So that's, and he'll have a much better explanation than I do for this, but. No, that but that's, kind of, that's fine, because that's what we have to do. We have to have some kind of Plan. Plan Absolutely. to get there without having dramatic. Right. Why don't, why you know, don't we back and forth. target the 17th? All right. Yes. So we'll that, but, uh, when I talk, I'll review some meeting dates and agendas okay. going okay. forward. So. Perfect. Right. So okay. Why don't we ask uh, the folks from Diamond Shine if they'd like to come up? Thank now. you for being patient. patient. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Welcome. Here's the actual plans. Oh. You guys can keep as well. I oh, wonderful. I'm pretty sure I to come back from okay. you guys. Yep. Okay. This time here. That's a copy. Okay. Oh, right. This was the uh, the area originally that you were going to, there was going to be a Home Depot there, right? This is the Yes, the that's absolutely that. correct. Yep. Okay. So I'm looking to get um, the host agreement. I think tonight's meeting is for, um, we're working on the site plan. I had met with you guys a couple of months ago. Yes. And you guys had talked about the Wetlands Commission getting into that because it is a wet area, of course, as well as a curb cut, which it does have. We, we checked with the people. You guys gave excellent information. So 
we checked with the Department of Transportation in Northampton and there is a curb cut also there. So I wanted okay. to follow up on that. Great. Do you have a letter? <clears throat> Do you have a letter? I have an email from him. It, I'll make sure to provide that for you. Yes. Um, uh, I think it would be really good if you do an overview sure. um, of what your your operation, how how you um, perceive your operation is going to be. Absolutely. Um, but I I, I, w I want to be really upfront. I would like to take this under advisement because mm -hmm. um, you you haven't had a chance to meet with um, our police chief yet with a security plan or anything. No, nope, I gave that to them already. Oh, good. Have uh, you, that was a couple of months ago. Okay. Have you sat down and reviewed it with him, or no? I dropped anything? it off as advised from the select. Oh. Office. Yes. Oh, okay. Because I I don't have any feedback from him. Okay. On on the security plan, so I I don't think we would want to um, make any decision on a host agreement until we had feedback from our police chief. Okay. Yeah, he's had it for a couple of months. Okay, so what you would want to do would be to go follow up with him and sit down and go over it with him so that he could recommend to us. We are meeting, um, it looks like every week <laughs> this month. So No, um, no problem. I will do that. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. aware that that yeah. was something. No, no, no. no. That's it, no problem. It's just um, the whole security thing is, is pretty a big deal, and so we wouldn't Absolutely. Really want to. Do that, but go ahead and do your yeah, presentation. Yeah, we'd love to hear about what you're planning. Sounds yeah. good. Okay, yeah. so um, I am looking for permit approval eventually for a recreational marijuana cultivation facility located on the property of the west side of Route 5 and 10, okay. uh, which is Greenfield Road, and just north uh, of Conway Road, known as Map 159, Lot 14, which you guys will see on the map. There is no actual address. It's right um, in between Conway Road and the special animal hospital. Oh, it's just between for, there. Okay. Yeah, there's a large area there except for the corner is not the property. The, sorry, the corner is someone else's property. That's where the flowers and stuff are. That's correct. Okay, the so stands that you can there. actually walk over there. The rest of the part is completely wooded because okay. we tried to get in there ourselves and it yep. wasn't doable. Right. So the property is currently vacant, owned by State Development LLC of 207 River Road of South Deerfield, and it contains approximately 17.25 acres. Okay. So pending all required approvals, of course, of the town, um, the police chief, the mm -hmm. um, Massachusetts Cannabis Commission, we're looking to lease the, nor the northerly portion of the lot, uh, 14 Greenfield Road site from State Development, and construct a 5,000 square foot purpose designed building to contain a state of the art year round recreational marijuana cultivation facility. Indoors. Indoors. That's interesting. I saw uh, so it was outdoors. But. Have, have you looked at um, how you would site this? Because that property is extremely wet. Yes, there's uplands and wetlands. If you guys see on the map, you can yeah. see where those areas okay. are. Yeah, there's a whole area over to the side from where the curb cut goes. You're going to have to put a driveway in with a well, but you're absolutely oh, right. Here, this is more but there's definitely area that's for doable to, for it. Yes, so and it's them. just a 5,000 square foot area. So yeah. we're trying to be kind of away from the main drag and it, well, as much as we can, yeah, we considering we abut everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm okay now. I, I was no, I understand. Line, Trust me, no. Mind, I was like, oh. yeah, hey, we were trying to get in it, so I understand. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I mean, I, I, I would really like to work with you on this because, yes. um, you know, from a mosquito district point of view, we would yes. like to lava side in there because that's a huge, we've got a lot of runoff from 5 and 10 that is pretty <coughs> saline. So yes. actually developing this and then working with you on, Lava setting would be very nice. Mm -hmm. I'll write that These down are the as old well. tracks, right? Is there yes. a, there's an old I track kind of coming through yep. there. Yep. Okay. There's a culvert, something you can see where the road, I mean, the tracks stop. Right yeah. That's right, right yep. there. Yep. You're right. Okay. Great. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. I was just trying to envision where you were going to no, put No, it's this. a large area too, and just looking yeah. at it, I completely understand. So. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously part of it is the building, the mechanical systems, and of course the security, and, and also mm -hmm. environmental controls is huge and part of our plan okay. and development as well. So yeah. it hasn't been developed on. Um, the um, state development has owned it for over 20 years. Right. I believe they got the curb cut around the same time as like Yankee Candle and everything. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So the guy wasn't familiar with it from um, 
the DOT at first because it had been quite so some long. time. Yeah. Do you, do you know if it had been properly recorded? Yes, it is properly recorded. Okay. Yes, and I'm going to provide her with the email and the proper okay. information. Yes, because he had to find it. My architect also called him. We were kind of making sure because that, then we couldn't just, do anything from yeah, that. Yeah, I was just going to say that's really important. Yes, of course. And then the cost associated with the time and the cost associated with getting it from that point yeah. okay. would have been a lot. But yes, there it is there, and I'm going to provide that with her. So I provided the business plan. Yeah, Obviously, I yeah, I we, read that. We also have, um, I will also have a separate security plan as well. When okay. I apply to the Mass Cannabis Commission, aside from what's in that business plan, yeah. they also require other business plans that we have in place okay. as well. Perfect. And that and that's what I just want you to discuss with yes. John and make sure everything is Absolutely, fine. John. Okay. I'm yeah. going to write down his name too. Yeah, so John can Pichard. I, can I Perfect. clarify something? So when you're talking about a security plan, you just said you had to file one. Is that the same thing? Yes. Okay. So but it has to be, I want to make sure that John is okay with it and it meets his, his requirements and our requirements because he's, he's our, mm -hmm. you know, lead on that. Right, and then they also and they also um, have it noted on the Mass Cannabis Commission, like a bunch of different things, too, mm -hmm. that they want that they in require. place aside from you know, town requirements. You have to follow both. So. Right. Right. Okay. Is there any land use permitting that they need to do? Um, he, they, she has to go to the planning board. And, and, and the Conservation Commission, did you make an appointment with the Conservation Commission? We're going to make an appointment with the Conservation Commission as okay. soon as I get the John Furman from VHB who did those initial plans. Mm -hmm. My architect suggested I go back to him, so we've been going back and forth. He, he literally has to just put the, the little plot on there showing where the curb cut goes to it. Yeah. And then I'm going to have a discussion with the folks from the Wetlands Commission. Okay. Yeah. So that was the next step. Right. Yeah, just I just want to make sure plot. that, you know, you get that sorted out. Cause it Absolutely. Is, yeah, no, you told me that months and I was right on well, it. Well, I just. I'm sure you've noticed, but this plan is from 2002 and things yes. have changed quite yes. a bit. Yes, so. yes, that's what we're working on. Yep. Yeah, yep. updating all that. I know. Yep. Well, it's just, it's so wicked wet there. So, can but you, that's why it would, I, it would be nice to work together. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to interrupt you if you're on a flow there, but I just want mm -hmm. to be real clear what it is the board is, will expect before you're ready to, to offer a host community agreement. Well, I, I'm... Security plan. Yeah. Security if, plan. If you, you need to make sure that John is fine. Yep. And he's signed off on it. Yep. Or he can let us know that he doesn't you know that he's okay with whatever you're doing no problem and um, <coughs> I, I would want to make sure that um, the Conservation Commission um, is looking at at this because it's no so problem. wet um, and then I and then I but only f you don't ha you can only just you know start the process I don't expect you to have everything signed off but um, I, I just want to make sure that the Conservation Commission weighs in because it is so wet and then if, if that's okay, then I, I have no problem mm -hmm. with the host right. agreement after that. No problem. Mm -hmm. I, I will, I'm working on that. No problem at all. Okay. okay. Yeah. But I don't want you travel so far. and I want to No, it's not yeah. bad. I don't mind. Well, I come out, okay, you know, but I still feel like there. instead of coming back and forth, it would be yeah. good yeah, to Yeah, yeah. So as soon as I get that, I'll plan. let you know yeah. so that okay. we can get on the agenda. Okay. Another um, person, actually, I spoke to tonight because of our recorder. I don't even, I'm not sure if it was you or not, but um, yeah, I spoke to, it may not have been, I'm not sure. Had said that we could get um, the um, I could do the entire process through the Mass Cannabis Commission without necessarily having that right away. So at least starting it, I'd like to have the full application complete. Though I don't think they're going to want to look at me if they're missing a piece. But it's him. I, <laughs> I'm still going to do it. <laughs> so I, I have no problem coming back as soon as I meet the criteria, so that I can. Yeah. I, I, that's I just, not a problem. You know, I, I, I f would feel more comfortable if John is okay with everything. Absolutely. And, and you've started the Conservation Commission process just Absolutely. because from your point of view, mm -hmm. you, you want to make sure it's doable you, right. Right. Uh, before you commit any more resources. Absolutely. So, um, but then, you know, you could come to us. I mean, and you can be going towards the planning board process. That's mm -hmm. yeah, not a problem. At all. Uh, that's nope. not a requirement for us. And I'll continue to update her. And as you had stated, you guys are kind of meeting on a regular basis. So oh, yes. I will let her know within the next couple of weeks. We should have something. I mean, the guy had to put a little thing on, but yeah. we still yeah. have to wait. So. Okay. Sure. Perfect. Sure. Perfect. Perfect. 
Okay. Right. Great. Thank you. And you guys much. can keep those plants okay, too. Okay. Great. We'll do that. Okay. We'll have them here. Thank you. And I sent her the the template we're using for for the oh, post community for the, agreements. Perfect. Yes. So you and got will, that, and you can read it. Yes. That. And I'll update the date as soon as oh, you know. Like okay. It's no big but, uh, deal. The only yeah. thing you know, we discussed this. The clarity about um, because our language talks about it being a um, medical. Well, no, a Massachusetts corporation. I don't know if we would. <coughs> You say it. We need to clarify that. It is. I will send you that documentation okay. as well. Okay. No problem. Because from we'll the have, Secretary of we'll State. We'll have council review. You know. Yeah. No yeah. problem. So, all Great. right. But you've, you're agreeable to the terms that the board is looking for. Yes. In terms of payments and that. Okay. Yes, and I will provide you that as well as the um, addresses. <laughs> the other thing. Yes, yes, yes. As soon as we get an address. We just don't have a physical address yet. It's On just I'm talking about right. a map number and everything right. with you guys. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's no problem. Understandable. Yep. And I can't change the address with the Secretary of State because they will legitimately send mail to the wetland area. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> It'll be like dumped off. Yeah, the and there's no, I mean, I could put a mailbox there. I, mean. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you are started before you you know, and understand that the site, how wet it is. Yes. And then, then work with us because we want you to be successful. That's yeah. why I don't, I don't, want, you to, I don't yep. want you to get started and find out. Right. But it's not going to work out. No, yeah. I understand. Thank you okay. very much. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much. Thank Thanks you. for coming. Have a good, good night. to see you. You too. Okay. Next, the hazardous mitigation plan update grant. Okay. Um, I talked about this last meeting that we had gotten word right before the day of we had the MVP listening session. It was very apropos. We applied last year for this. This is to update our hazardous mitigation plan. It's FEMA money that passes through. It's, um, it's really a requirement for almost every grant, and um, it's like a five-year plan. And ours no, expires 2019. So I have lots of things to be signed. One thing, KIPP signs. Um, I, would I would like to wait till the end of the meeting. Okay. okay. Do you want to make I'll, a motion on this? Yeah, I'd like you to make a motion. So, uh, I don't um, so what I'm proposing is that uh, we haven't, for all these grants, you've got to sign in who is authorized to sign. And I'd like Carolyn to be because she's clearly got three years ahead of her and it's going to be a, a long term process. So um, I was going to ask the vote to be that the chair. Author, you sign the Authorizing. form, and then she signs all the rest of the forms. Okay. No problem. No so problem. he's got the vote motion okay. there. Yep. <laughs> so uh, my motion is to authorize the chair to sign the authorized signature listing for the FEMA Hazmat Mitigation Plan Update Grant for Carolyn Shores Ness to be the authorized signator. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Do not let me let, let you leave. We'll do. It's so many that will. It was okay. mostly Carolyn, and so okay. we could do that. No, keep that. There's a second motion for later. Oh, um, okay. Planning board activities update. Are you looking for something from me, or? Uh, does this have so much on their plate, and it kind of segues into the issue of the changing the town meeting date, so. Okay. You know. So um, we are changing the town meeting date because the planning board yeah, needs Yeah, the other night, you know, they've struggled yeah. so much to find times to they can get the quorum to meet and they've had so many continuances and you know you just, you so, please speak to it yeah we we have a continuance for um the property at the quorum mill village road where the proposed dollar general is we also have um, a continuing public hearing for the uh, solar project off of set right road i think it's called uh, frontier two or whatever uh there's another public hearing scheduled for a solar uh, farm up on the railroad property off of Upper or River Road mm -hmm. at North End. Um, you know, so we have uh, quite a bit of things to deal with. And, um, okay, so um, I really think we have, I mean, I want to have the town meeting mm -hmm. um, because I want to make sure that we can budget for the senior center. And, Absolutely. And well, budget for the seniors. Yeah. I'll just say so something. What, um, what dates are we thinking of now then? Um, well, and I reviewed this with Barbara. I have not checked with council or the moderator at this point, but either Tuesday, November 13th or Thursday, November 15th, staying away from election week is the week before and the, uh, Thanksgiving is the week after, and we need the 14-day notice. Well, um, I'm still getting 
negotiating with people on language for, for some changes and things on warrants. Tuesday, Tuesday the 13th? Yes, or uh, Thursday the 15th. Um, I cannot do the 15th. I have um, an annual uh, Massachusetts Association of Conservation Districts meeting um, down in Boston, and I am vice president, so I, I, I need to show up. Um, school committee. But I could we do the 13th. Well, the 13th is school committee for Deerfield. Oh, it is. And SCEMS is the 15th, but we could move SCEMS, I'm sure, uh, if the town, but other towns are able. Um, she's not going to be here. Right, so. Um, Carolyn, could you get here? It's I can, uh, well, I can, I can get here. What time are we thinking We could have food for you. Seven. <laughs> Seven. All right. Well, I, me, I mean, why don't I review the available. items first? Okay. Do you want to? Yeah. I mean. Sure. Okay. okay. No, it's all right. I'll if if I'll just I'll just come as fast as I can. And if there's if I get stuck in traffic, don't drive as fast as I drive. No, no, no. But all right. So if we do the 15th, I might be a little bit late it's if fine. the traffic is bad. So yep. the town meeting, special town meeting, would be uh, the only way to deal with the uh, senior center. Budget. Well, let me and just let me say something about sure. that. Um, at this point, given the other two towns are voting their share of, of that, it's sort of um, sort of our good faith thing for us to do it at this time. Brenda okay. assures me it wouldn't be an issue until you know we're at that point in the budget. Right. But the BOO has agreed to do this, so that is one reason why there we would want to do this. Yeah, they're, they're yes. both other towns yes. are. And I just and confirmed that a, with them tonight. Just to kind of yeah. recap for the public, our, um, our senior center budget was kind of all upside down and backwards. And with um, Diane Cornwall's assistance and her assessment of the senior center, we've, um, she's gone through and really flipped that budget on its head and it has sussed out a lot of stuff that was not budgeted, like our director's health insurance and all kinds of other things that, um, and, and actually how we fund these programs and how we appropriate, you know, what we do with our appropriation. There's two sources of money. The town uh, appropriates money each year, all three towns, uh, a portion, and then there's the money from the state. Um, there's two, so two or three sources of money from the state. One is your, how many seniors you have, and it's so much, so many dollars ahead, kind of, and then there's, um, and then there's what's called a SIG grant, which is, um, um, it, it's, uh, you know, senior, it's, it's incentive to, to do certain programming and stuff. And that's kind of, um, that's really discretionary from the state, whether you're going to get it or not. And usually that money is, is based on other towns not using their so many dollars ahead. It's kind of weird how it all works out. But so sometimes you don't know if you're going to get it. Right now we're not sure. We think we're pretty good. But it's all in how you... Um, how the state looks at how you're funding those programs. And if you're not putting money up and you're just kind of taking the state's money and kind of just doing a little, and if the state gives you more and you, then you assess the town less, it shows that you're really not investing in your seniors. So we flipped all this on its head and we're funding our, our director and uh, some of our outreach by, um, by appropriations instead of just state money. So um, everything moved around a lot. And Diane did a wonderful job of kind of reorganizing that. And so it turns out we're about 20,000 shy of where we really should be funding our seniors. Um, so, you know, our portion is about 10. It's about five from each of the other towns. And so to fix the budget, we really need to go to town meeting and say, please help our seniors. And I think this will help us by having by doing the town meeting process and so that we've allocated it because then we can p step up for more grants. Exa it and, will and, help us. And regionally, And that's this why I want to get it done. So it looks grants. like we have funded it. Mm -hmm. All three of us have funded it so that we can apply for more money because right. that's how you leverage more money. Absolutely. And that's yep. why I'm, I don't want to put it off any later well, than I November. Thought. I guess we just leave it up to you to see if there's any other conflicts. And Right. Always we can shoot for the 13th. Right. Um, 15th. The 15th. 15th. Yeah. And, um, and I know Barbara late, can. I sat with I'm Barbara to, to look at the possible okay. dates first okay. before. So um, uh, I was just going to tell you the other articles that are, Great. you know, sort of driving this. Uh, that's, that's one. Um, Conservation Commission membership to bring that yep. to five appropriately. Um, CIPC bylaw. Um, I think we're closing in on a, on a good update that will make it, um, it, it hamstrung us, the language in it that exists now. It just created uh, 
challenges for how they operated and well, it's tripped us. and all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, lot, we lot would update problems. that. Um, we were, Bruce Payne Peters sent a whole lot of things, but Barbara and I thought, and she's been at those bylaws uh, review advi advise whatever, bylaw review advisory committee meetings. You know, we're moving forward, basically having the code company do some work first mm -hmm. before we start making changes. Otherwise, we'll be making changes. They'll be doing something. Well, you know, and right. it will take time and cost extra money to do it that way. Um, so there are other bylaws that he had put forward, but we're th and, and I did let him know that we're thinking it, it would be better to wait till they do their next thing, um, the code folks that we're working with. Um, the other articles, uh, you know, the one that we've been talking about to get to change the bylaw from selectmen to select board, but that could also wait till mm -hmm. annual town meeting. You've been doing it, but you, it, the bylaws itself read differently. Um, that's kind of it. <laughs> No other money. Oh, 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 wait. There was one other possible money item, and this has to do with um, the interest of a building committee. And this is picking up steam. I met mm -hmm. with um, um, Jeff Upton, who's co-chair of the capital planning committee, and um, John Peresky, who's um, I think they're both on the both committees, right? The finance mm -hmm. committee and the CIPC yep. today, and they're very supportive of the idea of doing. And this has been brought up. I believe Bruce Hunter has spoken about this at your meetings, um, doing um, a building survey, mm -hmm. a, a building's assessment. Uh, we have uh, this, the um, um, RFP that Sunderland used to do that. Mm -hmm. And it would help, I think, as I a think so. sort of starting point, not only for uh, the building committee, but for, for the capital planning committee. Absolutely. And they got very excited about going forward. In fact, Jeff was sitting there with Steps. copies of the RFP to hand out to the other CIPC members. Um, so I'm checking out what that might cost, yeah. and perhaps we would go forward with asking for funds for that. There seems to be a lot of support for doing that. Mm -hmm. um, it wouldn't be this kind of full, you know, it would just give us a sense of what, we have, uh, what, we, what we have, what kinds of things need to be dealt with on a 5, 10, 30 year basis, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Okay. So I'm trying to move that as quickly as I can. I've already um, sent out some queries about what might be an estimate to do something like that. So that might be the other the other money item that would be on this. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so related to that, I have that other motion there, mm -hmm. um, which would be, uh, I'd like you to close the warrant at a certain time so I don't get more things because people have been, you know, sending in things. Well, I, um, okay. Do you want to make the motion? So do you want to close this at on this date? And we don't want to leave it open just in case we want to add this other stuff, or you think you'll have the answers by this date? Well, I, it, it closes to the public, but we can oh, still. Oh, we can still, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, okay. that's what that is, so essentially. So I'd, I'd make a, um, a motion to close the warrant for the um, fall special town meeting on Tuesday, October 9th by noon. I second that motion. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Kip, did you have a question? You were looking at me like you had a question no, about something. No, I was something. just listening, soaking it all up. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, okay, that's that. my report on that, and I'll, okay. we can go on to other things. Our right. first discussion no. on the budget calendar and um, budget That's target. in your hand. That's in it's your in packet. packet. Yeah. Um, this is the calendar. I talked about this at the last meeting that I mm -hmm. created last year, and I've updated it for this year and took in the input from the finance team, including the it's like uh, the finance committee chair, and then uh, Brenda Hill, our town accountant, and I talked more about it and have updated it again. And I shared it with um, the uh, two members of the capital planning committee I talked about earlier, I was met with today. So that's kind of the updated schedule. It's more realistic than we had before. Mm -hmm. It'd be better to be realistic than to have deadlines that don't get met. So. Absolutely. And what's new on this is um, focusing on having the um, personnel board make a recommendation to the select board on the compensation plan so that the budgets are developed with the salaries in that, so wages and salaries in it this year. I think that makes total sense. It does. Sense. Last yeah. year was a little hectic trying to figure out what was yeah. going on. And it waiting. was a big waste of paper. It was a waste of paper. <laughs> yep. No, I agree. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Um, so if you approve that, I'll take the draft off it and I'll get that circulated. So okay. I make Do a you motion. Have questions first, though? I, I don't. Okay. I think, you know, I feel Fine. like. I've looked at it a bunch, and I feel like I'm pretty good with it. Yeah. I'd like to get rolling on it. Um, yeah, might as well. So I make a motion to approve the um, Deerfield FY20 operating 
and budget preparation calendar. I second that. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, the Great River Hydro EAP rollout. Okay. Carol, um, up. <laughs> well, we have two big events coming up. Um, October 11th is finally is the emergency um, alert okay. plan. Um, roll out from Great River Hydro. They, Great River Hydro bought the dams from um, TransCanada on the Deerfield and the Connecticut River. So they have, and that was May of 2017. They have not had an emergency alert plan since May of 2017. So um, this is happening here um, at 9.30 on the 11th. Uh, they're going to come and they're going to roll it out to everybody, um, I wanted. I wanted. This is Great River Hydro. No, I was going to say, who's expected to come? Just people from well, the Valley I, area. Or? Well, what it is 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 the towns. There's 20 towns up and down the Deerfield River that are affected by the EAP, and so the idea is to have emergency managers, select boards, anybody that's interested to come to understand, they're rolling out this new technology. It will, before we used to get a hard copy book, you know, of like, you can call Trans, Can Bone you know, Trans Calgary, Canada, and you get their 24 seven, you know, EOC, and, and they'll talk to you and tell you what's happening. If, you know, like say we had a big storm coming, we have capacity, the drams have been dry, you know, um, drawn Lowered. down, you know you, you, they're guaranteeing to you that they can take six inches of rain or 20 inches of rain or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but the problem is there isn't, there's no infrastructure with Great River Hydro. There's a lawyer in Boston, the president is up in New Hampshire, and there's Matt Cole who has been our community relations person for several renditions of mm -hmm. different companies. And even the dam operators are as they retire, they're automating the dam. So it's just like, there's just nobody. So we, it's, it's really critical that we participate as towns. So um, I had a REPC meeting yesterday, Regional Emergency Planning Council meeting up at the FERCOG, and we talked about it, and we talked about triggering. And so- Where did you come up with on that? Uh, the, I mean, because okay. you and I have been looking at, and I get text messages on the on the volume of coming water coming so down the river. So this is, this is, this is, let me just explain to the people mm -hmm. that when we talk about there's gauges up and down the river and there's actionable gauges, but then there's a lot of rivers like the Coal River and the North River. There are no gauges, there are right. no dams, and they impact us tremendously. Mm -hmm. So um, what, over the years, I've worked out relationships with different people right. and contact people so that we can know what's happening on the Coal River and what's happening on the North River and how that, and for an example, Two, Tuesday, two right. Tuesdays ago, I was at a Homeland Security meeting, and normally Dennis Anir, who is the interim EMD and fire chief from Charlemont, is usually there, even though he's not a voting member, usually comes, because he's the um, chair of the Northwest um, Incident Management Team. And, um, but he didn't come, and, 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 our, and our gauges went from 7,100 CFS at Stillwater Bridge to 22,000, which is like in flood hour. in an hour. And I couldn't get Dennis on the phone. I called him, and um, he was just driving around looking at the rivers, and so there's no cell service up there in some of the areas. So I finally got in touch with him when we were about ready to evacuate Mill Village. But I, I, I was watching the weather, and it was a line on the storm that was coming across, and it was a clear line. It was, mm -hmm. we were, you know, it was in the watershed, but, and even though it was a lot of rain coming, there was a clear end line. And so Dennis was up on the Coal River, and it normally is like a, a foot and a half, runs at about a foot and a half, it was up at seven feet. And the North River um, was almost actionable. It was like 10,000 CFS, which is almost flooding. So, but it started stabilizing because the, edge of the storm was right. going by. There was no more water. So we did nothing. You right. know, we were texting back and forth and and I was calling Dennis and Dennis said, Well, the rivers aren't coming down but they have stabilized. So I don't think you're gonna end up 
the 25,000, which is covers Stillwater Road, right. which covers Mill Village, which starts at 5 and 10. So we gambled by not doing anything. So what I think that 22,000 is, is about 9 feet, which is on the edge of the road. And our, the gauge at Deerfield is at 9 feet 8 inches. So I think if we use until the end of the month, the trigger is 25,000 CFS. That's what I was thinking. That, that number seems about right. I feel comfortable with that number because that gives us the time to get people out along the st those four houses at Stillwater. And then if we get up to 30,000, then we need to get the kids out from the ment, right. the dorms. And so we just leave that as a trigger, our actionable trigger, until the end of the month. And what we'll do is we'll have the EAP rollout on, um, it's 9.30 here at the town hall on, on October 11th. And then there's the, vac um, on October 16th at 6 p.m., Bob Berry from MEMA is coming up here. We're just going to have a preliminary review of the web EOC and how that interacts with the EAP. And then um, he's going to do the um, flooding template. And we'll figure out, we'll, we'll put in all these, we'll meet as an emergency group and come up with, uh, fill out the, all the information for the template and all the contact information. Like I have Kevin French's number. He's the guy that lives on the Coal River. He, he's the woodworker that, he's the EMD there, and he's a woodworker. So he actually lives on the river, and he's there all the time. His workshop is right there. So he will watch the river for us there. We need to get someone on the Coal River, but we can have fill out our thing for contacts, mm -hmm. and we can decide if the trigger should be changed at that point. Right. I kind of want to just wait until Agreed. we get all this information. Right, and, and see, see what's happening above it. Right. So if we have no events until the end of the month, it's not a big deal. Right. But if we have a storm like this one that's out in the water comes up or whatever, we will have an agreed upon trigger. And, and I've only been doing the gauge at Tarlemont for about a year, but I've been working with Dennis on that. And there, that day, Tuesday, it got up to about 9,000 CFS up there, which is flooding, 10,000 is flooding, and that would be a trigger for them to start evacuating people. So for him, he feels comfortable going with the 10,000. Okay. And so when we are getting the readings from the Charlemont gauge, and we're getting that 8,900 and 9,000, that's impacting us. That's that will gonna, impact that's gonna us in about an hour, come less down than an hour. Yeah. to us at about 25,000. Right. So that's when we've got to start work. But if we have no more events, I think we should be okay. Right. And then we can review this at the end of the month. So all good. of this, will, they'll go over it on the 11th as well. Right. Yeah. Okay. And so, so the whole okay. idea here is to sort this out because we have the tabletop November 3rd, which we're hoping to pull in all the fire departments, our emergency group, you know, the uh, highway department and mm -hmm. the police and everything. And, and then we'll figure out evacuation planning and how, what, at what levels do we trigger yes. areas to evacuate? Okay. And okay. then we'll have all the information. Perfect. And we'll have the passwords set up. Perfect. So we can all manipulate the system. Good. Okay. Then we'll roll on. So Thank you. I think we don't we're all have set. any appointments at this time. Um, no. Do you have any I, I new have, business? I have more to say in my report. Yeah, please. I think we're ready. If you want to hear it. Anyway. <laughs> um, I just want to review with you your upcoming meeting schedule. And just well, I kind of don't want to meet on Halloween. I, I have that off the table. I knew okay. that. I knew oh, right. that. That is a given. I knew that. Um, so uh, next week. I thought week, we could dress up at our meeting. That would be fun. <laughs> I did that one year. I decided, you know, everybody always dresses up but me. So I came dressed up and no and one did. Nobody else did. <laughs> okay, here, it was when I worked here as the interim. Um, select board meeting um, we're just next slow. week. Slow I will not be here. I had prior plans. We weren't going to meet next week, but unfortunately, have, oh, we have a for that's, yep. the, that's okay. the expedited permit hearing. We're all so set. We already we're closed. all set. We're working on Did, that. And then we're going to also uh, the advertising close and sign went the warrant out. Okay. Wait, let me, wait, three things. What? Sorry. <laughs> the advertising went out? Yes, yes okay. both. Okay. Both. That's good. It was posted. I've given you the. Um, 
sample draft letter or, or, or decision. Um, okay. I gave that to you, you know, that council drafted for you to look at. You have all the documents to look at. You've got, I don't know if that, no, that's not and it. We, underneath there, the stormwater there permit, right. the um, site plan and special we just, permit, and uh, the, the drawings. So you should be prepared. You should be looking at that ahead of time and be prepared for the presentation and all of that. Um, can we just discuss that a little bit? You could. Ask your I didn't want to interrupt your, but I was just. Um, well, we, Kip has volunteered to do photocopy. The we were just talking about it before the meeting. He's going to photocopy um, a, a checkoff list for us. Right, about and, and then that we've got and we're going to work with Tony and um, we, we had talked about maybe not having um, peer review on the water because we felt like. We you you were going to go I'll, over I'll, that and do those I'll calculations go over it again with before Tommy. that. Yep, and I will. We will uh, talk about that, and um, we can go from there. And he's and then he's going to. Uh, we're going to structure the meeting in a way that we can just go through right. the checklist. Well, I asked him to structure the, his presentation, uh, kind of lay it out as it is in our bylaw book, so it would be easier for us to follow. Right, and we can just go and through instead each of item him as just he might. Uh, Start start this, he might start, start off, you know, digging the dirt, going through the mm -hmm. whole building and process. And ours might contain, you know, lighting that one might think is at the end of the project, but it, it, in it our book it might front. be third. So, yep. you know, I asked him to, to do that. Okay. And, and I, I, I told Perfect. you I will make yep. copies of I, the section of 4700, and we can kind of use helpful. it as a checklist. I don't, but like I said to Carolyn, I'll try to highlight the, the numbers that are actually. Um, if you will, would be a, a checkoff, but I don't want to eliminate all of the little other parts in there because they're like with lighting, you know, uh, lighting might be one checkbox, but there's eight or nine different aspects Outdoor of lighting, lighting you know, yes. how it shines, you know, how it's shielded, right. where it's mounted, where the shadow casts and all that. So, and I, I think it would be appropriate for us to, to be able to look at that, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and when we get to, uh, you know, the public comment, uh, you know, we can go back and if somebody asks about, you know, go light glare and section. stuff like that, we can allow the engineer to speak to it, but we'll know exactly how and why they got to their, their question and stuff like that. So okay. I, I, I feel pretty confident we should be able to, you know, it's not complicated. It's, mm -hmm. you know, just let them, you know, ask questions and let him respond to it. Okay. I've not gotten any more input, you know, other than that one letter who, yeah. whose concerns were addressed yeah. Yeah, I think from, the, were. from the public. If anybody else. Anything, anything else you want to say about the hearing coming up? I think I'm pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Um, so also we do have a, some other small items on that. Um, it's a, we have to sign the warrant that week. Um, well, that, that's what I was going to say. That we said close and sign the warrant, but we're going to. No, I'm to, uh, two different it. warrants. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get back to the special gotcha. template, just the, right. you know, the payroll and yep. bills warrant. I had that in my calendar. Um, and um, one of the things that we thought we needed to have on, the, on a special town meeting was the farm animal excise thing. Mm -hmm. But you actually, you're ready to, and I would like to put it, since it, it's not something we should just throw on tonight, put it on the 10th for you to vote um, to put it on the uh, the local election ballot in May. Okay. Um, if you choose to do that. The, mm -hmm. the assessors sent me an email. November. N May. November's a, a federal election. You, um, can, you can't, I don't think you can put local issues on it. And it's already set, the ballot set and all this. So um, it would be your next local okay. election. Sure. The assessors have already let me know they support this and want you to yep. know they do. So, um, town meeting. So we don't have to go to town meeting. No, you already basically what was previously voted in 2014 is adequate enough for you to make the decision. You know, to go. This is the second step. You're deciding to vote to put it on the ballot. So, so Diana will have that for us to make that it's a, it's vote already on, on the, the agenda. Yeah. It'll okay. Be great. Okay. Oh, so it's on the agenda for what day? The tenth. The tenth next week. Okay. Well, and, I mean, you could. It doesn't have to be. I mean, it's we're talking. Yeah. Right, months ahead. But, but while it's people have been talking about, thinking about, about it, it done. we'll get lost. Yeah, let's, let's just, just get it done. do it and get it done with. Right. Yep. Yep. We also have a, a one-day liquor license that you know is pressed for time and needs to come before okay. you that night. Fine. And um, so I would that I also would want you to um, wait. I can, I've got lost in the shuffle here. 
I think if you're meeting on the 15th, the special town meeting is on the 15th, which is what you talked about tonight, mm -hmm. we can actually sign the warrant on the 24th. It's a bills and payroll warrant any rate, uh, week anyway. So, mm -hmm. But we do have something on the 17th as well, which is this flammables permit. Um, which company is this again? Uh, Walters Propane. Walters Propane. They have oh. one. It's an uh, amendment to their license. They're increasing the it's an amendment. They're increasing the amount of propane they have stored. And okay. Because Where they look? Oh, we've got located on Pat, Center, right? myself, and Diane in the office. Sometimes we're, it's not as coordinated with dealing with the public and need, these kinds of things that need. Otherwise, we try to you know condense it so you're not having yep. to meet every every week. No, but that fine. could be a quick meeting or yep. whatever on the seventeenth. Maybe, um, maybe <laughs> we can meet later because um, the senior dinner is that night. Yeah, the, the at the spaghetti dinner. What yeah. time could, is that's that? That's at five thirty to six. What night is that? It's a seven fifteen hearing. Perfect. Oh well, that's that's fine. fine. Yeah, yeah. That's so fine. So we do at seven. Meet at seven. Yeah. That'll so give it's us a regular time. Sorry. seven o'clock. On the on the seventeenth. On the seventeenth. Yeah. Okay. Related to the senior dinner, I was just hoping that we could do a little thing for Steve Kulik because he'll probably be there. Oh, or great. We, you know, we can make sure he's there. Yeah, but I'd love to. We would like to just say thank you for. I'd love to. Yeah. So, Diana, would you be able to do some kind of accommodation thing that we can why, put Why are you asking Diana? Or whoever. <laughs> you. <laughs> no, the 17th. Oh, the 17th. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you weren't, oh, yeah, no, whatever. Oh, you're yeah. going to be here the 17th. Yeah. You're going to be here the 17th. But I'm yes. changing yeah. things around, so I, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I was just hoping that, do I don't know. I won't if be we, here we, on the 10th. Right, the week Do before. we need to vote on that, or just, is that? What okay? would you like to do? Just just a, a frame thing saying thank you for your service to the town of Deerfield, okay. or whatever. Appreciation of... How many years he's done it, or whatever, right. you know, that we can present it yep. to him Love if he's to. there. Check dinner at six. Um, it's uh, five thirty. Five thirty. Okay. okay. Yep. Um, and then um, I, 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 hadn't, I, I was meant to call Sharon Pachorik before this meeting, but I just didn't have a chance. I ran out of time. I, I think she was going to ask the veterans um, group to see if they would put the plaque together for um, Stillwater Bridge for. Um, Greg Blanger, so mm. maybe we could present it that same night. I don't know oh. if there's enough time for that, but yeah. I'll just got to check. To the senior center night? How's it connect yeah. to the senior dinner? Well, because it's Kathy's cool. usually there. And she is. Okay. Yeah. That so would be I, really I nice. I thought it was kind of. Like I know a I couldn't be f I couldn't be here this summer for her, for the benefit, and um, if we can do it in this year, I'd love to do that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I just we don't have very many public events to yeah, do this. Yeah, I know. It seemed like that that would be a good crowd and it was Sharon's idea actually to reach out to the veterans group so that'd be maybe great we can figure something out yeah if we can do that that'd be 17th. awesome yep. um and then uh just the MVP um, listening session the final notes were done and so we're like ready to do for the next round and uh, do you need us to vote on that Wendy that, to participate in the next round of we don't MVP? have we're not to submit anything right now. Well, no, the round isn't open yet. But do we? Do you need not, us to vote to say move ahead or anything? Or not just, yet. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I think once we they get announced, uh, Chris Collins. Uh, hi, Chris Collins. Chris Curtis <laughs> has um, been writing them, and he said I haven't heard back. And I said, well, they probably don't have a date yet. That's right. why. No, so no, they don't. Have I a think date. we can wait. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Because right. we, we don't exactly know. I didn't actually finish everything I was oh, going to say. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry to cut you off. Hey, we're just one big family. That's so. right. Take a um, but uh, what? Oh, I wanted to mention uh, MassDOT contacted me about uh, uh, having a hearing here on the design on the Route 510 project oh, great. Uh, in Deerfield and Waitley. And, and that they scheduled that for November 8th at 7 here. Okay. Um, it's in the, d the design hearing, and they're going to do. It's, it's funny how they're bigger on outreach now, um, but they're going to put notices out in the newspaper and all of that. Um, and wait, November eighth is um, is our uh, the municipal financial management best practices at the FERCOC. In November eighth, we have a planning board meeting. That was set 
the other night. That's why we called today to find out. Yeah. We didn't hear back uh, from you or John. Okay, I can. I knew that, but it's. But we didn't hear job, back from anybody. No, no one I know. tells us when things are. I looked on the calendar. I asked Pat. We emailed you and John Wade. Right. Didn't hear back. So. I'm, I'm not the vice chair anymore. So it's it's uh, Rachel. Yeah, but we. Okay, so when are the planning board meetings? We need to know. That. Um. Well, there's one on the 29th and one on the 8th. Is that's it? I don't know if Trevor signed up so for it, but I already signed up for that. All right, so I need um, to let financial. Him know right away. I'm management. Supposed, uh, I'm supposed to we be. We can in, do it in um, Waitley. It doesn't have to be here. I'm, I'm supposed to be into Cape in for the oh, yeah. conference. Right, you didn't I know. I'm trying to I'll write them tonight. Uh, work on that because I'm not sure I can get away to go. I'm signed up for it, but I got to figure out if somebody else will take my space. Okay. Well, There's I signed up for this financial work. management <clears throat> best practices. So, um, <clears throat> it's, you know, that select board series where they have technical mm -hmm. assistance. Um, uh, the one I would like everybody to sign up for is December 6. It's a um, um, select board state of preparedness. You know, uh, just just so we... It's, this is FERCOG? Yeah, this is for the FERCOG thing. I, I know it's kind of a drag, Kip, but it's really important that we get prepared in case we have an ice storm or something like that. You know, we, we need to be able to file the paperwork and be on top of this. And, Mm. All right. So that's December okay. 6. I know it's Keep kind going. of a drag, but we'll honestly. bring hot it, chocolate. Maybe it won't be snowing then. <laughs> um, well, it might be canceled. The, I mean, the snow you, date is, November, is uh, December 13th. Yes. I think she's still going. Uh, just coming up, I don't know when we'll have the final paperwork from them. We have another right of first refusal, 61A. From, this one's from yep. Savage Farms, so mm -hmm. I'm waiting for more information. Um, and I, we already talked about the workshop for the uh, day pricket and the yep. uh, water, wastewater. Um, so can we just, just go over the day? Oh. You know, and I have to, I, I would want to talk with the current members of the Conservation Commission. One of the things that the former chair, Steve Barrett, had come to me about when we were talking about the planner position was a conservation agent, mm -hmm. whether we can integrate that into um, the and we both acknowledge that they're really two different jobs. At any rate, since just this week, I heard from other towns that are interested in coming together to possibly share the services oh. of, uh, you know, uh, wow. having a shared That's conservation If you find somebody as good as Walter Ramsey, I would be really thrilled. Is he a conservation agent? He's, He's a, a conservation planner. agent over in Montague, but he also works for, like, Levert. And but he's the full-time town planner in, in Montague. It's a... Well, I'm not sure if he's full time there because he works part time at no. Lever too. Hmm. I think he's a shared conservation agent. Hmm. Do you know? Well, that would be a great idea. No. Do you sure it's him, Walter Ramsey, or someone other named Walter? No, Ramsey. Walter Ramsey. I, 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 we did the you, whole. Kip knows him too. No, Kip. I don't. Yeah, you've told me. No, you Walter. Walter is wonderful because he does economic development. Our conservation, planning. our conservation Monique. district. Monique. Monique. Yeah, I do know Montague, but I don't. I didn't know his name was. That. Oh, okay. So. I um. Well, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Let's just go with the concept. The and conservation not the district right now. did. Okay. The <laughs> conservation good. district did the Sawmill River restoration work on that Route 147, and um, it was like seven hundred thousand dollar project. And Walter was absolutely amazing. He was wonderful to work with. Debbie Great. Shriver and I yep. trekked over there. Any rate, so there's some times. some interest by the board in that. I'll, yes, there is. I'll continue yep. listening and I'll obviously talk to the Conservation Commission. Okay. Um, that was something Steve really wanted to see. That's. Uh, I'll, uh, it was just the other thing is working with the personnel board. We're hoping. Uh, unfortunately, uh, didn't have a, weren't able to have a meeting this week. I think they're scheduled for the 15th. Um, it, we really have to. Um, uh, hone in on a, a recommendation to you for the compensation plan so we can get the salary set. So I've, I've sent them all the current plan. Bruce Hunter's been working on some ideas. There have been some discussions about that. Um, certainly if you have thoughts about it, let, let me know, let them know. I'm also working very hard on the personnel policies to get those in place and get the bylaw. Small. Yeah, so yeah. we can have up-to-date personnel policies. Um, that's it. I'll stop. I just um, can we send an email out to the 
um, sewer study committee with um, just an invitation to that workshop mm -hmm. and kind of what we're hoping. I wrote that down. Perfect. I'm sure. Can, can we just, um, because I'm, I'm getting confused in different meetings, so can we just go over what meetings we have <laughs> scheduled? Just um, plan on every next, night. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I, I have pretty much every I night. <laughs> but, so the 10th, hearing on Dumont? Yes. Close warrant. Or close and sign the warrant. Um, 17th, 15th. spaghetti dinner and, and our meeting. select board. Okay. Do we have a SCEMS meeting on the 18th of October? No. no. We have no SCEMS meeting this in October. October. We're going to do it in uh, November. On and the, be 15th. the 15th. Okay. Um, sounds like we're going to have to move that. Yes. We have a if we're going to have a special town meeting, meeting. yep. Okay. Um, so that's the 17th. Nothing on the 24th. Nope. Nothing so, on so we're not going to meet on the 24th? Well, well you have, it's a bit so April far. on Bill's warrant week, so, um, so and maybe. So may just plug one in if we, we're not going to do the following week? What? Well, we don't If we're do not going to do the following week, we might as well. Well, we don't want to do, I, I, I can't do We're not do doing Halloween. Halloween, no. I got to. So we can do that, and we can also sign the warrant that night. It'll, it'll be fine to, uh, if we're, since we're meeting on the 15th, I think it gives us the two weeks for posting. Okay. So you think, so we should just plug in a meeting for the 24th? Do a calendar. I usually bring a calendar. And so we're having the sewer workshop at Did 6 p.m. on the 23rd? Uh, yes. Okay. Yep. And the then we have um, breakfast the 26th at Sunderland yes. Public Library? Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Where's Barbara's stuff? I brought it into the office. Um, it's in the folder. Yeah. Folder. Yeah. yeah. They don't have to vote on it. It can be up to me. They already vote on it. It's just a corrected one. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. I'll go get it. just want to make sure they do it now. Okay. Um, so if you need on the 24th, you get it posted on 25th. Good. We're good for the... So you, we, we're going to do a meeting the 24th? <sighs> At we're six or seven. The we're still doing six in October, right? I mean, seven. I'm sorry. Um, for the seven o'clock on the twenty fourth. Are we okay? Yeah, and we'll do. We'll get the. We'll do the warrant signing that night. Okay. So, but in November we're switching to six p.m. Right. Okay. So, um, if we meet the twenty fourth, then when? What are our meetings in November? We're meeting the fourteenth. Or are we meeting the 7th and the 14th? Uh, the 7th, we're not. I don't, I don't have any meetings set for the f November yet. I'm probably going to have to do the 7th then, right? But then again, I'm not supposed to be here. So. The 14th would be you're cutting back on your regular schedule. So the 14th? The 14th. Yeah, because I, I just can't do the 21st. Okay. But I think we're going to do the 14th and the 28th. Okay. That's going to be early. Six o'clock. Yep. Six o'clock. And we're yep. switching over. Yeah, to you're going to switch to six yep. in November. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, Sounds good. How are we going? To, we really so, need to have a better communication system around meetings, um, especially the planning board, since they're so busy. So, um, and Priscilla's out, and uh, you know she's moving, and. Um, so I just don't want to have this kind of thing happen again. <laughs> it's going to happen, but we just need to have Try better to communications it. when you set meeting dates. Who do you think on the board should be the one responsible to, to let us know in the office the next day we get on the calendar so nothing else gets scheduled? Are you talking from planning board? Yeah. I would say either John or Rachel. Okay. So. I mean, John... When, John does not like not to be informed. I know he he shared uh, at our last meeting that there's a lot going on and that he, he can't handle all of the stuff. But yeah, on the other hand, if he's not kept in the loop, he right. gets upset. So I, I I just feel if you know if he wants to be on top of these things, he just has to you know it, it doesn't take that long to send an email that we've scheduled the meeting on a particular date to let everybody know well in fact it could so. happen right at the end of the meeting it could happen at the right. end of the meeting yeah. yep so 
someone, he likes to delegate, so maybe he could, you know, someone would step up to do that. If, so. Um, I, I oh. was thinking I'll, I'll Rachel, write them both and ask that. Rachel isn't. would do that. <coughs> oh. <coughs> this isn't, um, I have a little subject, but it's not on I the agenda, but it's just to start talking about the uh, street lighting and I was talking about maybe getting together, um, talking with um, David Gilbert Keith about, I mean, it's been 2011 was the last time they, I think, evaluated the lights. And there are people requesting maybe a light be on and neighborhoods change, new families move in. And I was just going to ask, do they have it on their radar to kind of do that again? And um, how do we typically... The you know, Energy Committee? Yeah. No, I, I don't think, think who, so. Who did that last time? It was the Energy Committee, but, but they don't since want then... To, okay. Well, I Tell think their, their perspective is to save money and save energy. So I think when I was here as the interim, that came up and the board was turning back lights back on and there was a little bit of a well, disagreement we about a that. About it, so though. there needs to be, um, yeah, kind That's of a policy about another thing where you would have a policy about right. you know, how you... So, right. Well, we never came up with a, an ag I don't want to say agreement, but have we ever decided even to whether we were going to buy the street lights and use LED ones or continue to pay for the... We haven't been reevaluated yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because, well, I, I mean, it when was we talked 2011, to, we looked at it, I think. Was yeah, and I, I, you know, I talked to Ken Garber and from uh, Eversource every once in a while, and he, they're not willing to, you know, bring the cost down the way the other company is. They're just not, um, that's Ers Western Mass. So we have they to buy, they wanted to grid. sell us the lights. Otherwise, I think so. It was yeah. you had to buy the light, and then you had to buy an LED light, mm -hmm. and it was really. Expensive. We could ask the energy committee to look at that. That's what I was thinking. Maybe it might be worth just having a you know a little round table with them. I, I'll try mm -hmm. to jump in on their next meeting and just you know this start is an election, about these yeah, things. and this is an election year, so maybe we could bring this up as an issue with Charlie Baker's office, mm -hmm. you know, because the Eversource is not being cooperative with us. I mean, maybe that needs to be pointed out. On what? Mm -hmm. On the, on no, the they're not purchase of the anybody. lights. Well, it's beyond local. You know, they're out of Boston now. They've I know, cut staff I know. and, you know, know, it's a different... I know, but that's what I mean. Maybe there's something that you can coordinate through the governor's office and you get the governor involved and then all of a sudden it's resolved. That's... Oh, I don't know. Utopia. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, but it's worth a try, and I think worth, I, it, worth a discussion. And I think just I just wanted to say we should, you know, people are asking for some lights. We should find out how do we go about that process, and is there a way? Maybe there's a form online about this is the address, this is the poll, and I, I, you know, this is something that you can complain at the MMA too. Of course, we yeah. can sort but out locally here. Let's figure out how yeah. how residents kind of get through that. And see. Well, we want you know, to look at bringing off, this up didn't. because of the question we got today, yes. which may have been just but the no, light it's being not, it's out. Not, it's not. Well, okay. it could be, but it's not only that. I've heard it uh, several times um, that you know people ask in different forums about, hey, how come I don't have any lights on my street, or you know, the, you know, the kids are running around, well, or people are jogging. That kind of thing. You know, the new. board is two of the members of the board is new since all of that happened. Right. It might be worth them coming in and reporting on just yeah that just project. And so. Okay. And maybe see yep. where, you know, maybe well, it is just a light bulb out, you know, maybe some of these things, I was just going to say, uh, some of the stuff we, you do have to follow up on because they charge us whether you're, the light bulb is burned out right. or not. Right. Okay. And, and I was so shocked about that. I couldn't believe it. I, I called, I remember years ago, there was a light out, very important light, the, the um, 91 South out of the rotary in Greenfield. Oh. It was out for five years. I kept calling about that. It was very <laughs> dangerous and dark. And, um. I don't know, even know if they're Eversource or, Ma or National Grid. I think they're National Grid, though, in Greenfield. I'm not sure. But at any rate, it, it's tough. But I think the Energy Committee should come in and talk. Yes. Yeah, that's I, I been that also a, sort of a different committee than it was. Yeah. And good to get together with that. Them. That yeah. initiated that project. Thank them for the Green Communities Grant and just keep rolling yeah. forward on Are stuff. Are we good then? Yes. We're, We're done. Anything? Do you want to make a motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion. Do you have any? So anyway, well, Diane is well, moving yeah, forward yeah. with the RFP for the landfill solar project on the Oh, landfill. okay. Yeah. Oh, MA wanted, um, I appreciate right. the email back. Yeah. So you're it's reaching moving out forward. with her? Yeah, and David stopped by today. Yeah. So. Oh, okay, perfect. So, yeah, we'll be getting that out. Really do, you, do you have that RFP that was for the police station roof in the response handy? Yes. Yeah, okay. 
after the meeting, could I get it? Yes, it's very minimal. I mean, we right. didn't have full right. specs, so. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's really got your, what it is is your drawing. Yep. Are they, um, <laughs> they're changing the soffit too, right? Because that's rotted. You look up there. And we did. The, we, they're going to fix, they're going to fix. Whatever the was stuccoed there was yep. rotten underneath it. Yep. Okay. Um, well, I guess what I wanted to look at that, because I, I, I just want to make sure that we're not going to be charged for something that was, already was, in, the was in it or what they said they were going to do or what maybe they didn't say they were going to do. Yeah. So I just want to look at it before mm -hmm. I say anything. Um, I did get you know what, email Kip, can I just email it to you after the meeting? Because I have it in yeah. PDF form. That would be the easiest That'd thing to do. That would be great. Just email um, it both. And, and I would also do that. And I've got to email MassDOT right away before they send out notices for this public hearing. Public hearing. Mm on design um, um, I'm gonna do that right now I'm not gonna be here tomorrow um, I emailed you yeah. all Brenda and Karen and I usually Barbara goes but um, damn staff member uh, to the DOR municipal workshop and then I'm going to the FERCOG meeting tomorrow night I won't be here on Friday okay. yeah. but I'll be here Monday when it's a holiday <laughs> it's um, a catch okay. up. Do you want to hang on to these prints, or do you want me to keep them with this stuff? I think we should keep them in the office. Okay. Do you want to it's take all this that. back, too, then? <coughs> yes. And no. <laughs> Carolyn made a motion to... Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.